Join me as I try to uncover all of the newly leaked drama of Type Soul. You guys are in for a treat today because we've got some major Type Soul drama that have just been leaked. And trust me, they're gonna blow your mind. Let's start at the beginning. We all know Setro didn't step down when the Type Soul devs told us he was actually fired. And this is where the drama starts. Here's the message that Not Dave sent to Setro to fire him. We appreciate all your work done so far for the game, but within a group decision of the owners and the development team, who's basically the Gorosei of Type Soul, we decided to part ways with you. We're really thankful that you put a lot of effort on the game, but it's not working out well. We decided to move forward with the game, but without you as the lead developer. Current team remains the same and your percent will be split between the devs, thus making so all TC developers have percent, as they rightfully should have since the start of the game. Reminder, you were supposed to have 20% to work with, and rather than splitting it, you've kept most of it for yourself. While being heavily greedy when it comes to that, not to mention situation with your so-called developer alt that an entire friend group of yours had access to, causing chaos of specs being handed out left and right, people being added to admin whitelist, BMing of titles appearing, and so much more. But regarding Type Soul, Hell will still continue its development, same as weekly updates. This being said, we wish you the best of luck. Also. You'll keep 1% from game revenue as credit. If any contributor that I haven't contacted yet wishes to join the new management server, feel free to DM me. Now basically what they're saying is that they fired Tetro and they split his 20% to the devs. He was fired because he was given 20% to work with and rather than splitting it, he kept most of it for himself. Also, he had a situation with his so-called developer or that is entire friend group of his had access to, causing chaos of specs being handed out left and right, people being added to, into the admin whitelist, DMing of titles appearing, and so much more. Basically saying, Cetro never developed anything, he was always a manager. And after Cetro was fired, he was banned from the Discord server. And after this, Balboa has had a 45 minute interview with Cetro. Personally, I'm not watching all that. But you guys can see his response there, and the dev team responded saying that Cetro was lying in the interview. Now here's your bonus drama, Balboa's ban. As we all know, he was unjustly banned around a month ago, and the devs have struck again. Or should I say, dev. It was Balboa's birthday, or is, I'm not sure if it was today or yesterday, but he was giving specs praised by the dev team for his birthday, and the devs even put a message in the type soul discord to ping Balboa and sing happy birthday, not sing, say happy birthday. This is where it all fell. Now according to Balboa, Chaotic, part of the Gero Gorosei, looked at all this happiness and fumed. On his birthday, he didn't even get a single happy birthday. His parents forgot about them, him and their basement. His imaginary friends didn't even wish him happy birthday. So he got mad at all this happiness and joy and decided to get off of his anime body pillow and crash the party. He banned Balboa, my king. Uh, no. For according to Balboa, no reason. Balboa doesn't even know what he was banned for. And to make it worse, Chaotic deleted his happy birthday message. This drama just goes deeper and deeper. So what do you guys think about this drama? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on Type Soul. Peace.